All right, here's the breaking news involving porn star Stormy Daniels, uh, who was reportedly paid $130,000 by President Trump's personal lawyer to keep quiet about this alleged affair just before the 2016 presidential election. The Wall Street Journal, they're the ones who broke this whole thing in the first place. They are now reporting today that the bank used by Trump lawyer Michael Cohen actually flagged that wire payment as suspicious and went on to report it to the Treasury Department. City National Bank launched an inquiry about the transaction a year after Stormy Daniels' attorney received the funds, possibly because the bank received new information. The Wall Street Journal also reports that after Trump's victory, Michael Cohen complained to friends that he had not been paid, or I should say reimbursed, for the payment to Stormy Daniels. When asked to comment on the story, Cohen called it fake news. Last month, Cohen admitted he used his own funds for the payment and that the Trump administration organization was completely unaware of the transaction. CNN has also reached out uh, to Cohen for a response. So Mark Garagos is back with me on all things Stormy Daniels, our, our uh, favorite CNN legal analyst. And so Mark Garagos, you can understand why people are like a little bit suspicious over this story, starting with if everything is above board, why not just go to your own bank? Well, first of all, I'd like to not refer to her as a porn star, but an adult actress. Second, Forgive me. I, yes. Um, second, <laughs> I think that if it is his own bank, if First Republic is where he banks, then if they're filing a suspicious activity report, that is, uh, you know, that tells you something. And if it isn't his bank, then that tells you a whole lot more. So I think that's significant. The one thing also that when you combine that with that they have these what they call SAR, suspicious, suspicious activity reports, is also the fact that he's complaining to people in real time that I haven't gotten reimbursed yet would seem to um, be a tell problem you? for him based on the declaration he filed with the Federal Election Commission. Because there he led them to believe that he was not expecting to be reimbursed and that he hadn't said anything. Do you think, just based upon all of this that has been swirling and we had reported that the, that the Stormy Daniels people believe the NDA was broken, therefore she can talk, do you think this porn do you think this adult actress will step up to the mics and talk? Yes, I do. I've, I've always thought from day one of the story, I didn't understand why it was somebody had not come out and said they would indemnify her to the extent that she gets into any litigation. I mean, obviously, this is a story that would garner a lot of attention, and there's got to be somebody who wants to click on eyeballs and would tell her, I'll indemnify you. So I think absolutely, if I'm going to make a prediction, she is going to talk and she's going to tell her story, and it'll be a lot more involved than that 2011 In Touch interview. Mm -hmm. Mark Aragos, thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you, you Brooke. Let's talk West Virginia.